Hi, I'm Chris Anderson at the EU Web Tech Lab, and today I'm looking at the Maxim Max 17710 GB20 Evaluation Kit. It's an evaluation kit centered around the Max 17710 Energy Harvesting Charger and Protector. An energy harvester is a device that converts energy from the surrounding environment into usable power. Sources might include solar, RF, or mechanical. Now let's take a closer look at the hardware. This IC really serves two purposes. One is to charge. To that end, it has a boost regulator to charge from voltage sources as low as 0.75 volts. On the output, it has a selectable voltage on low dropout regulator. You can set that to 1.8, 2.3, or 3.3 volts. You can also set that to operate in low power or ultra low power modes. The board also has three solar cells from China Solar. They are the KS2510. Open circuit, they're gonna generate about two volts and they'll provide about five microamps of current each. Now, around the back, you also have the MEC201 microenergy cell from Infinite Power Solutions. It acts as a four volt, one milliamp hour battery that the MAX17710 charges. Back to the front, you also have four switches that allow you to enable or disable your output and set the low current mode. You have a number of test points throughout the board that allow you to monitor voltages. You also have this jumper, which allows you to set that output voltage to 1.8, 2.3, or 3.3 volts. Now to start using this board, you need to connect some jumpers to hook up the battery and the solar cells to the IC. But first I like to make sure my solar cells are operating properly. As you can see, I've hooked up some leads, and this is gonna monitor the voltage on the unloaded solar cells. And you can see it's at about two and a half volts. Now if I cover that, just to verify that it really is working, you see it dropped about 1.7 volts. The first thing you need to do to avoid damage to the IC is connect the battery. And you're going to do that by connecting jumper 2 to pins 2 and 3 or 1 and 2. Connecting to 2 and 3 allows you to monitor the charge current later. Then you go ahead and connect your solar cells to the IC. Now, if you're using a different voltage source, maybe a, a piezoelectric source, this is where you would leave this jumper disconnected and you would connect your source either to the solar plus and ground or to the AC plus and AC minus test points. So now we have our solar cells connected up to the IC and our IC is charging our battery. So now what we can do is by changing this jumper, we can set the regulated output voltage. With it open like this, it's going to be a 3.3 volts. You turn it on, you press S1. Now, if you have your device connected either here or through these regulated and ground test points, the energy cell is providing power to your device. In conclusion, the MAX 17710 GB20 evaluation kit is a great starting point if you're going to be using an energy harvesting application. The IC itself is very compact in size with an LDO regulator on output with selectable voltages. The kit costs about $200 and the IC itself costs about $4. For more EE content, check out eeweb.com or the EE Web Videos YouTube channel.